Hey everybody, I wanted to run through a quick tutorial here on how to get PSP games up and running on your system using PPSSPP. I'm also going to show you some tips to deal with the settings and the cheats as well. So let's get going. So the first thing that we're going to do here is we're going to come to the bottom left and open up our Discover app. We're going to come up here to the search and we're going to type in PPSSPP. Hit enter. And there we go. And click on that one there and then you're going to see install here and then let that run through its thing and we'll be right back okay so after that's finished installing here we'll come up here to the top right click on launch boot that up click on through so you won't see anything here first because that's your recent games list so we're going to come over here to games and then also if you can't if you find that you can't scroll down because you're using the touch screen as well you can use your mouse pad here which is a little wonky too but um, also we can come up here and maximize the screen and that'll give us the whole list there as well, easier to see. So from here, if you have your games on a micro SD card in the slot down here, you can go to Run Media and then MMC. And then for me, I have it under PSP games and then there's the list of games. And one more thing here, so coming back to my PSP games folder that I just linked to, PSP games use .iso files, so make sure that you're using those as well. So coming back to our games folder here, so hopefully you have some games appearing in your list now. We can come up here to settings and then graphics. So I found these settings to work the best for me in terms of just getting into the game and being able to just kind of run through things. Now there is no such thing as best settings for system wide. It's more specific to each game in itself. Um, so for the most part, if a game seems like it's not running that great, try messing around with the settings, see if that changes anything, and yeah. Right, so coming down here to audio, so that stuff will stay the same, I never touch that. Controls, if you want to edit your controls, you can change the mapping in any way here. And then we can say also show PSP, and we can visually do it by clicking on a button and then pressing it there to rebind a key. And we can also say auto configure. Networking stays the same. So if we come over here to tools and then save data manager. So I have saves from God of War, and these are actually created through save points in the game and that creates a save data file. A save state is through the version of the emulator and it's kind of like a quick save. A save state is usually only transferable between builds of the same build for that app and then save data is usually transferable between all builds. So that's something to keep in mind. Go back here. And so to find where our save data is stored, we can come over here to system information, go to storage, and then go to this location here. So I'll show you this real quick here. So we're going to go back, back, resize the screen back down. And so I have the location here already set up, but you'll see here we have our system information, save datas, PSP save states. And then it's really nice because it also gives you a JPEG image of where you saved that state as well. So that's super helpful. And then your cheats folder. So coming back on over to tools here now. So if we go to developer tools, you'll see some stuff going on here. I really don't mess around with this stuff much, but there are like texture replacement stuff there. I haven't touched any of that yet. So feel free to mess around with that kind of stuff. But yeah. So going back to our games here, so I'm going to resize the window down and then you can press and hold on a specific game that you want to edit for its cheats and then we can go to cheats here and then you'll see I have some set up there on the right already and to do that we're going to edit the cheat file but you can see here when we go to press edit cheat file nothing comes up and that's because the PPSSPP doesn't have access to the folders. So what we can do is I have a text file set up here but I'm going to copy this line here and I'll put it down in the comments as well and then we're going to come down here to the bottom left and go to system console. I'm going to right click paste that line. I'm going to hit enter and that's all we need to do and then now when we come back here and I say edit cheat file and there we go. So it opens up the file now. 
So once we have the ability to actually open the cheat file here, we can come on down here to Chrome and we can come up here to this website here. And this is a list of all the PSP games that pretty much have 60 FPS cheats for them. Um, most will not work perfect, so heads up on that. Uh, as I showed in my Crisis Core video that there are a lot of glitches associated with changing the FPS in a game. So um, you may run into that stuff, but you can also switch back and forth between 60 and 30 if the if it gets too bad. So I have Crisis Core down here, and what we can do is we can click on that, and then it'll kind of link some other games into the same uh, page as well. So you kind of have to scroll down here, and there's Crisis Core. So my version is the USA version. There's also a couple other versions here as well. So make sure you're using the code for the correct version of the game. And so what we can do is we can copy this code and right click it, come back to PSP, edit cheat file, and pretty much it should stay the same, paste, yep, there we go. So yeah, and so that's how you kind of get your cheats into the game and yeah, you can kind of select them, tick them off from on and there. And I'll show you in-game, too, on how that can affect things as well. So this will happen if it's not running uh, 30. It yeah. just kind of loses track of where everything's supposed to be, and sometimes things disappear oh, or they kind of freeze. So I'll show you here the 30, and it'll run correctly. You can actually do this in-game. So you can change it back to 30, and then click back, and then you'll see it change to 30 there. Okay, so from here we'll add PPSSPP to our Steam library by coming down here to the left and typing in PPSSPP, right clicking on that one there, saying add to Steam, checking our Steam library here, let's go here, and there it is. So you should be able to boot it through that way too, just double check to make sure, and there we go. Okay. So from this point, I'm going to exit PPSSPP here, then I'm going to return to gaming mode, and then let that boot up here. Alright, once we're booted back up into gaming mode here, we got PPSSPP selected, we're going to hit play, launch that, and it should be running. So you can hit A here at the start, and that'll allow you to start to select things here. And yeah, it's so pretty much you're good to go from here. Um, and you can hit A and it'll read the games as such. Um, so binding keys to escape is important too because escape will put you back in kind of the game menu here. And that'll give you your load states that you have or your save states and then your settings for your game and your cheats as well. So you can switch back between 60 FPS there and kind of let everything go through its thing there. So yeah, so I hope this helped you guys out a lot. Um, if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. And yeah, enjoy.